Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching my video today. Today we're gonna to talk about Matthew C. and we're specifically gonna talk about the Alpha book. I have a son who's about to go into this this fall, so it's a nice clean book to show you guys. Um, my girls have all been through this program from kindergarten, first and second grade. That's when we use Matthew C. And then I switch over to teaching textbooks. It's not because I don't like Matthew C. I actually love this program. But the thing about teaching textbooks that I like is just having that tutor that's built into the program. And so for the higher grades of math, I'm going to really be needing that extra little built-in tutor feature. So that's why we switch over. But Matthew C. has been amazing for us in those first few years. We love it. And um, I've heard that it's wonderful all the way up. So I haven't heard nothing negative about this program at all. I love it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, for those of you who have never gotten your hands on one of the books or the manipulatives, I just want to give you a good look at what exactly it looks like. And so let's get to it. First, let's look at the book. This again is the Alpha book. And this is for, I think it's the equivalent to like first grade. So we have single digit addition and subtraction. So first, let me show you at the front of the book. They have this cool little scoring sheet. You can use it, you can not use it, whatever you want. I've done both. I've used it, you know, for the first few weeks and then I kind of trail off and keep track of their scores in another place. But it's kind of a nice thing to have at the front of the book. So if you want a quick look, let me start here. Here's a quick look at what is covered in all of these lessons here. The lessons are broken up into little sub lessons, okay? So when it says that lesson one is place value, there's actually six even seven, because sometimes there's a part G. I don't know why it's not listed here, but there's a, a lesson G that's also included. So anyways, that is the first little score sheet with the table of contents there. This book is not colorful. So if you're looking for colorful, you will not find it here, but it has not been a problem at all for my kids. Uh, they've got plenty of little pictures in here, as you can see, that keep it interesting enough for them and they've actually really enjoyed doing these books. Sometimes if, if the lesson is very easy, uh, my daughter has been known to do two, three lessons a day if they get a really good grasp on the, on the subject and can kind of just fly through a few lessons, then that's what they do. And other days there's times when maybe the concept is a little bit more difficult and challenging or they're just having an off day and they'll do just one lesson. So the front and back, of this one, for example. So that's one lesson right there, is the front and back of the paper. So really, it's kind of, it's very flexible. My daughter has flown through this book and I've had others who have kind of gone a little bit slower, but it's a really, really well put together program and we really love it. So lots of practice. Also, another thing to note, um, the lessons that are C, D, E, F, I'm sorry, not C. The lessons that are D, E, F, and G are all review, basically. A, B, C of each lesson is still teaching the new concept, but then once you hit lesson D, for example, so they're doing what they've been learning in this lesson, but also in the back, this is review of stuff that they've already learned. So it does go over the things that they have learned in previous lessons, which is something that I think is very important and I like to have in my math programs. So anyways, I hope that this has been helpful for you and just getting an idea of the book. Uh, by the end of the book, they are doing subtraction. Here's a good example, this is 30B. They're doing some subtraction problems. They have a lot of word problems in here. Uh, so I guess that's about it. Also, they get introduced to the clock which is pretty cool. And Matthew C has a really neat way for the kids to learn how to tell time using the blocks, the manipulatives. So it's kind of cool. So now that we've looked at the book, let's take a look at the math manipulatives. As you can see, we've had some kids coloring on our little box here, but it has not ruined the function of it, so I'm okay with it. Um, it comes with blocks. It does not come with this many blocks. This is probably uh, two or three sets of the manipulative blocks. I'm guessing about two sets of them. I've gotten a few sets over the years just because I like to have more. I have multiple children using them. 
Uh, one set is definitely enough for one child, but if you've got multiple kids using the blocks at the same time, it, it might be nice to get yourself an extra set. So as you can see, we have 10 blocks, nine, eight, seven, six, all the way down to one. These yellow ones here are not part of Matthew C. I actually have these from a different manipulatives kit, um, so those do not come with it. Another block that comes with these is the 100 block. He obviously does not fit in my box very nicely. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, it comes with a few of these big 100 blocks as well. So I wanted to give you guys a quick um, idea about how do they do math with these with these manipulatives. So the obvious way, you know, is just counting, of course. Um, in addition, you know, 10 plus two, and then they have the kids push them together and then that's how you get your answer. But for subtraction, it's kind of fun. They do, let me grab a couple here. Let's do eight and three. So they would have them flip it upside down and they have them either stack it on top of here and then count the remaining ones or they'll even have them just kind of set it, set it next to there and then they count the remaining ones. Um, for different equations, they'll say, okay, two plus what equals eight. And so the kid's job is to figure out which block will fit in this space here to be equal to the eight. So as we know, it's six. So once they put the six in there, they'll see, oh look, it matches up. So it's a really good way for the kids to get an idea of how numbers go together, how they, how they work. And Matthew C does a great job of teaching place value, which for my kids has been an awesome foundation, um, regardless of what type of math they're going into, just having that foundation of place value and how numbers work. This has been a wonderful program to start them off with. And that's why I have really, really loved it. Um, if you guys have any questions about Matthew C, I can do my best to answer them. As I've said before, I've only gone up through the beta book, which is the third one in the series. So if you have any questions, let me know, please, down in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you. If you like this video and would like to see more homeschool videos, please subscribe to our channel. I am planning on doing many more homeschool related videos in the future coming up pretty soon. Uh, we have a lot of exciting plans. So please subscribe to our channel if you would like to. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.